My mentality has been crafted by so many entities. My family, my friends have all played a part in shaping my identity. But what do you call a man who's persevered through a myriad of injuries, controversies and everything in between? Shot clock at seven, Fox the inbound goes quickly to sack. Six, would you call a man who's been labelled as the greatest defensive player to ever touch the earth? Shaq tries to find Kobe quickly and gets into open space. Five, would you call a man who's dunks an aerial artistry waiting to be captured by one's mind, who wouldn't allow himself to fail even in his most darkest times? Kobe gets the ball above the three-point line, taking a bit of time. Four, would you call a man who changed his jersey number from eight to 24 because there are 24 hours in a day where you can pursue greatness? Kobe cross dribbles and holds onto the ball. He has to get it up before the buzzer if he wants to win it all free. Would you call him anyone's all the names? The GOAT, the MVP, the Black Mamba, the headliner, the dagger. Kobe moves the ball around the court, waiting for his chance to unleash everything that he's been taught. Two. Would you call him anyone who's dominated the game for two decades and encourages young black boys to never ever be afraid? Kobe fake spins and attacks the rim whilst everybody is attempting to foul him. One. Would you call him anyone who uses iron will as his weapon and uses iron will to win five championships and 18 all stars? Kobe reverse spins and pump fakes once. Wait, he pump fakes twice. Wait, he pump fakes three times and he pulls up for the win. Would you call a man who was a husband, a father, and an inspiration to everybody around him? Kobe Bryant was the bridge for a generation of ballers. His unbelievable talent created beautiful moments in the NBA. Even in his final game, winner versus Utah Jazz, he racked up 60 points. He would have thought it was his first day. I mean, me personally, I can't say I'm the best baller, but if there's one thing that Kobe's legacy has taught me, out of all of the things, it's that you should hug the angels that you have on earth before they catch their wings. So when you hear me shout, Kobe, as I pull up for that free, even though there might not be anybody around me, just know that my mentality has been crafted by Mamba's mentality. Thank you for listening.